Welcome to Focus on Faculty. I'm your host, Jeremy Bruce. With more than 16,000 students, Oakland offers 100 baccalaureate programs and more than 80 graduate and certificate programs. Instructing these students are a broad and diverse group of individuals who bring to the classroom a wide array of experiences from research, fieldwork, and theoretical investigations. But who are these inspired faculty and why have they chosen to share their knowledge? When we come back, we will find out the answer to those questions and others on Focus on Faculty. Welcome back. Joining us is Jamel Bouchafra, Assistant Professor of Computer Science and Engineering. Professor Bouchafra teaches courses on demanding subjects such as pattern recognition, soft computing, discrete mathematics, and artificial intelligence. He has written several papers in peer-reviewed conferences and journals, and he received the Oakland University Teaching Excellence Award last year. Welcome to the show, Professor Bouchafra. How are you? you? I'm doing fine, thank you. All right, um, just to start off, I think It'd be great if we could yeah. do your college education first. You know, where'd you go to school, things like that. Um, what was that like? Yeah, yeah I, I started uh, in uh, Algeria, which is a uh, North African country. Mm. Uh, then uh, I was, um, I was uh, in high school. Then I followed my schools in mathematics mainly. So I was really dealing with uh, mathematics as my main area. Then, um, after finishing from Algeria, I got all the degree that I needed. I went to France, and um, I went to Grenoble University, which is in the east part of France, maybe one hour and a half from Geneva. Okay. That's where I did my master, and then I did my uh, PhD in computer science. Okay, so you've always been interested in uh, mathematics and things. That's correct. So you've had a talent for it and such? Yeah, I, I, I started with mathematics and then uh, went to computer science because I felt that if really we want to do anything we, uh, after uh, my degree, mathematics is maybe the, the, main, the most important area because it enables us to go to different directions, to go to chemistry, to physics later, or to computer science. So having this basic knowledge is important to be able to pursue any different area, which is scientific area. Mm -hmm. Then once I felt myself really, uh, you know, uh, capable to understand so many mathematical concepts, yeah. I said I'm ready to go to computer science. That's okay. how I chosen computer science. Okay, so, um, so what are some of the things you're hoping to accomplish with a uh, knowledge of computer science? You know, some type of breakthrough or something? Yes, correct. Uh, this is related to my research currently, and uh, I, my, my goal in my research is uh, searching for structure, how things are done, trying to understand shapes of objects, trying to understand what characterize, what are the most important parts in an object, if you want to describe it, mm. trying to um, uh, simplify the information, trying to distinguish between objects, Mainly, it's recognition of objects that require uh, uh, mathematical concepts. Once we have this mathematical concept, we will be able to code that and build a program that enables us to perform this uh, pattern recognition task. Okay, so that's kind of um, pattern recognition and artificial intelligence, right? Exactly, exactly. That's, that's a pattern recognition and, uh, and artificial intelligence, even if some people uh, distinguish between pattern recognition and artificial intelligence. But these are really evolving area where there is no boundary currently. Mm -hmm. We don't know which one is. We know that they are similar. They tackle the same problems. Oh, yeah, that's, that actually sounds really exciting. I, I yeah. hope, hope to get back to that later mm -hmm, in the interview. Yeah. Um, but still, just recapping on your past, mm -hmm. um, while you're a student, did you ever plan on becoming a professor? Did you set out to be a professor, or did you have a different plan? Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a plan particularly in being a professor uh, when I was in, uh, in France, when I was doing my master mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and my PhD. 
I was teaching uh, because I needed to get some money oh. and to, to pay my fees and my apartment and all that. Mm -hmm. But certainly, uh, I found that this, I found that I discovered teaching for maybe I was teaching for uh, seven to eight years in, in France. And I found that the student liked my way uh, to teach and my interaction. And then after this, after this point, I believe that the student triggered this uh, love to me to teaching. Oh. It didn't come from myself, really. The student said to me that, oh, we'd like you to teach me. Can I come to your home after the class? Can I discuss <gasps> with you? Can I go to a cafe? You know, wow. was, and they could understand what I'm trying to help them. So you, have a, so you like have a knack for it or something, right? Yeah, I have never thought that I'll, one day I end up being a teacher. I, I, I just interact in a certain way. And uh, so that this, it's really, uh, it's really unconscious. It's something that we have in, uh, in our, uh, I believe, in our mind, something maybe, maybe innate. That's how I, I finally said, oh, teacher, t people are asking me to teach again and again. Then why don't you go and teach then? Yeah, so that um, was the point. Was there any specific um, um, student that, that really inspired you to become a teacher? Like, uh, maybe just like this one day where you just realized, wow, I want to be a teacher. I have a knack for this. Yes, uh, I found so. I, I was lucky to have some really uh, good students uh, from which I learned a lot. And uh, uh, knowing myself from the interaction, I earn a lot in my knowledge, even myself as a teacher. And some students that I got was, they were very good students. Uh, and really, they made me understand so many concepts I thought that I have understood them. And really, it revised in me. These students gave me a kind of revision and, uh, and full understanding of the concept. Oh, That's what, what, uh, what happened to me, really. So I learn a lot with my students even now uh, in the class. So it's kind of like um, teaching does promote a better understanding of the subject material for yourself. Yes, it is. Uh, it is a mutual challenge. Teaching really is a mutual challenge. You learn a lot from the students. Yeah. You give them what they need, but you are there as a facilitator. They are the driving force in the class. Okay, wow. Um, so, um, just want to go in a few things in, into your past that kind of yeah. interested me was, um, you know, studying in France and Africa and things. Oh, what was that like? I mean, was it an exciting very experience? Very, very exciting experience uh, because I started, as I told you earlier, from Africa, from Algeria, which is the north of yeah. Africa, and then I moved to France, and then when I finished my PhD, I moved to Canada, Montreal, oh. for one year as a postdoctoral. Means got some experience after my PhD, mm. and then when I was in uh, Montreal, I mm. uh, I applied for uh, at State University of New York at Buffalo as a research uh, scientist, and I got the position at State University of New York at Buffalo, New York. And, but to, to go back to your uh, point about the different experience we share, uh, students are different in different countries. The way we deal with them is completely different. And I've really learned a lot by coming in this country to see that, oh, here things are different. Mm. The relationship between the, the teacher, the instruction, and yeah. the student in this country is different from the relationship w which is in France between the student and yeah. the instructor. And then I try to tune myself into something that, you know, to learn a new environment okay. here. Can you just give me a few examples of how it's different? Yeah, for example, uh, for example there is no such evaluation of, of, of instructor by the students in, oh, in, in really? France. So really the instructor is is driving everything in the sense that the, the instructor, no way the student can evaluate the instructor. Yeah, okay. And that's something yeah. which uh, surprised me when I came here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Evaluation, <laughs> what they are talking about. And then uh, the way of grading is completely different as well. Uh, our interaction is different. I think students in this country are more expressive. Mm. I believe they have more, more rights than, uh, than what uh, their uh, colleagues in, in France have. Mm. That's the, 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 the difference. Okay, so, 